Hello everybody, it's Rhonda here from Nelson Soapery. Today we are going to be talking about formulating and of course lotions. So I'm going to be showing you my beautiful lotion that I've just made and then hopefully um, I can help you in understanding, formulating, what you need to do and so on. So this is our Sunday chat and for people that don't know, every uh, Sunday or every second Sunday, sometimes every second, um, I actually do a Sunday Day chat so it will always be about um, business uh, sometimes I give you my numbers tips tricks um, we talk about wholesale we talk about lots of different things um, and of course I welcome all of my lovely friends on here of course and um, please feel free to write something in the chat so that I can uh, understand exactly um, you know a question that you want or even after I do save the videos and then you'll be able to watch it at a later date as well Oh, hello, Lauren. How are you, my love? Welcome to our Sunday chat. Chat. You are the first cab off the rank, as they say. Uh, so, you know, welcome, welcome. So today I'm going to talk about um, formulating and things like that. Oh, hello, uh, Dee. How are you, my love? So we're going to be talking about um, all the formulations, how you do it, and so on. Welcome, Tammy. Um, and the one thing that I thought I would um, talk about, because I get lots of questions about, you know, how do you formulate, how do you learn how to make it? Um, even when people are first starting, there's a few things that I'll tell you when you're first starting. So the first thing is, if you see a recipe online that you love, a lot of recipes will say like intermediate, beginners or so on. So I definitely suggest that you start with one that is not a really hard, hard one to do because um, if you're not understanding how to do that, it can be quite difficult. So um, that's the one thing that I'll say. So don't do one that has too many ingredients, too many steps because that is really messy. But today I'm going to also talk about um, the scrubs, how we do the scrubs. There's different sorts of scrubs and I've been asked for them quite a lot at the moment. Now, as I just said, you know, we're talking about, you know, uh, making some lotions. This is my new one that is going up on my site. So to start with before we do anything so now we're going to pretend we're going to make our lotion you know you've got a shopify account you want to basically you've done your lotion you want to pop it onto shopify now if you want to do that make sure that you understand what a hs code is now what that means is when you put it in shopify down the bottom it's a six number code and if you're doing lotions, you need to put that in. So that's like, if I make this and I want to sell this and send it to New Zealand, I need to have that code in because some countries may not accept that. And that just helps with shipping and freight. And you can just Google, you can write HS code for lotion and it will give you the code. So it's the first six numbers of the code. Same as if you're making soap, just the same thing. Google that. So that is um, one tip because I did not understand what that was i didn't understand if i even needed that but you definitely need that when you're selling so um and you'll be able to see that on many different sites as well but often the customer doesn't see it it's just your uh you doing that on your shopify from the back end so now let's start at the beginning so you want to formulate a lotion you want to just do a simple one uh so let's get into that Oh, yes, you do, the soap chef. You are welcome on here, my darling. You have definitely caught me on my Sunday chat. Um, and everyone, for anyone that wants to know, it's always 11 a.m. Uh, Melbourne uh, times. So because I'm in Australia, in Melbourne, sometimes we have daylight saving in our summer. So that means we're an hour difference. Um, so always check out if it's daylight savings. And it is at the moment too. So now, like I said, you're going to, you know, we want to make a... Uh, lotion of course so now there's a few things we want to look at so basically if I break this down the easiest thing to do to break a lotion down is you want your butters um, you know so your butters and your oils you want on one end and then you want your waters on the other so basically that's as easy as it is if I break that down into the two sections so now with a lot of um, you know like if I talk about me making this so when I've made this, I have a water portion. My water portion consists of aloe juice. It will also consist of water. And you could do floral waters or whatever. But when you're starting, just do water. Don't add anything else in. Just do a small 100 gram batch for you. That's what I suggest. And you can always make your own. So if we talk about 
oh hi joe how are you my love or joy i should say i know you come up as joe but your name is joy uh, so now so if we're doing this um you know remember that you want your lotion to add up to be 100 percent so I suggest when formulating something like this, if you decide, okay, you're going to have 70% water, you know that's going to be 70 grams of water straight up. And most and most emulsifying waxes, you will need 8%. So if we just work out, for instance, you've got 70% water, you've got, um, so you can write this recipe if you want. So you just write 70 grams of water, then you're going to have 8 grams of emulsifying wax NF. Make sure you get the NF, that means national formulation, and that is a much better one. Don't buy the cheapest emulsifying wax because it will separate, it won't work. Um, many people will tell you that. So like I said, we've got 70% water, so 70 grams water, we're going to have 8 grams of emulsifying wax. This is the basic one just to get you going. And the leftover to equal uh, 100, so what are we up to? So we should have 22 grams of oils. So that's basically your recipe. If we do a really basic one, um, you can even just use olive oil at the start because you're only going to practice and throw it out probably. So that's the one thing that I suggest. Hello from Trinidad. Sarah, how are you, my love? Welcome. So that's what I suggest when you're doing that. And so basically you're just going to get a double boil uh, to make it easy. Oh, welcome. And I'm so glad you guys are all friends. Oh, I can't wait to buy my lotions. Well, Lauren, if you go onto my site, just type in lotions. It is there, but I just haven't put my heading up yet. Um, and you'll see the ones that I put up. Um, and they feel so beautiful. My favorite is this one. If I'm going to be honest, this is my favorite coconut cream. It smells like the 80s on the beach in Australia. So <laughs> that is my favorite one. So now, we've, like I said, we've given a rough formulation of you know a, just a very beginning one and honestly the first one you make you're probably not going to use because you might bugger it up I mean that's just what happens that's normal so just make a really small one um yeah it does it does oh look honestly it smells so good to eat but obviously don't eat it <laughs> disclaimer do not eat it um so now like I said we've got all of that so basically the only thing uh making lotions is you're just going to have literally two little pots and water in each hello from toronto canada hi cindy how are you my love and you have my dad's middle name which is lee uh so and most and my son also has lee in his middle name as well so now we've got our lotions we know what we're going to put in it so one part on the boil you are going to have water your waters the other one you're going to have your oils and literally all you're going to do is melt them down together and once they're ready you're going to mix them in and blend that is it uh, so it's not hard it's not hard but most people are scared because it comes down to needing a preservative now you do need a preservative my friends please you do need one as well Oh, it's some vitamin C lotion. Yes, I've heard that's very good, Sarah. I've heard that is amazing. And my sister's name is Sarah, so I will remember that. It's my baby sister. Uh, so now, yeah, so like I said, that, you know, look, there's many more things, and I don't make one that simple. Mine have lots of different things in it. And for anyone that's on Patreon, I will be doing a live free course, which comes with all of the levels on Patreon. So whatever level you're on, um, just this month, usually you've got to be in the middle tiers to high tiers to get that. But for this month, we're going to let everyone watch it, and I'll be showing you how to make a lotion. And I'll show you how to make a little advanced one. Um, but if, you know, I will also give a recipe for a basic one um, as well on Patreon. So if you're not on there, go and jump over there. So, um, and that's what we're going to be doing. So hopefully next weekend, but I will put a post and let everyone know when I'm going to be live on there. And it will be on a Saturday Australian times. Uh, so, so that I can do both times. So anyway, that's what we're going to be doing for that. So I wanted to talk about... Now, we, so we know we're going to make a, oil, um, a formulation. Uh, that's good, Tammy. Yeah, I've heard the hemp lotion is very good. I don't do hemp because I know it's a bit, some people love it, some don't. So um, I don't do that. I My favorite thing to use is organic shea butter. Um, 
and it's always a winner every time and it just feels beautiful on your skin so now there's a few additives you can be putting into your lotions to make so you know when you get a lotion and sometimes you put it on and it feels um, like it doesn't slip it doesn't slide or glide really nice that's because if you buy a commercial one they actually put additives and a few um, silicon additives to that so you can actually put them in oh, look I can't pronounce it I'm going to say desimethicone but I'm probably wrong in pronouncing that so I will type it once we're finished and loaded the video I'll type it in um, and that is something you can add which actually creates the slip but I can't pronounce it Ah, uh, that's how you make yours too. Yeah, with the Shea. So my main ingredient that I do is I'll usually use water with aloe juice and then the butters on it. I will usually use um, Shea butter, um, sweet almond oil, jojoba oil is the next one that I usually use in that. Um, and of course you need your emulsifying waxes. So I do use my the emulsifying NF. I get mine from Aussie Candle Supplies, but you can get that from anywhere because the NF is basically, it's a national formulation. So it should be very similar whichever country you're in. And you can also use polar wax instead of NF. Polar wax is amazing. It is the best one that you can use, but it's very, very expensive. So a lot of people don't use it because of that being so expensive. Um, so that's just something to think about when you're doing that as well. And of course you need, need your preservative. Um, my preservative that I use is Optifin Plus. It's the easiest one to use. It's not so tricky as some of the others as well. Yeah, you have the Shea in yours too, Tammy. Yeah, it's, it just makes a really beautiful one. Now, when I give you a recipe as well, remember everyone, you can change the oils. So if the one thing that I would say is leave, um, if I give you the waxes, so leave the waxes the same, but you can, you can change your um, ingredients to go up and down all the time. So you can change, you know, how many liquid oils compared to butters you have. And the more butters means it's more body butter and the less, the less body butters, uh, sorry, the less shea or cocoa or butters, would mean more it's starting to get more like a lotion and this one is a lotion my lotions aren't like water they're, they're quite thick lotion so if i turn it upside down you can see it's not going to like totally drip but if i shake it um let me give it a shake you can see it comes to the top again so and when you're making these um the one so I'll get nice and close um Oh, yes, the e-wax can throw you off. Generally, 5 to 8% is normal for e-wax um, in a recipe. So that, it just gives you an idea. But, you know, when you go on suppliers' websites, um, and there is a supplier in Australia, even if you're in the US, still look at them because they give all the information, and it's called nessentials.com.au. Uh, and so it's just the letter N um, and then essentials. And the good thing is if you type in polar wax or whatever, they give a description to talk about how much percentage you use, why you would use it and everything. So they are really, really good. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Yeah, I get a lot of people loving my labels and they do look a bit profesh, um, you know, but can I tell you, it's taken me years, like honestly years to get to this. I mean, I constantly make labels, even if I don't use them, because the more you practice on Canva, the better you get. And I create everything on Canva. So, um, you know, and when you see one of my labels, it's usually not just a print that I've got on Canva. I do get them on Canva, but then I will add smoke colors over the top. I might add dots over the top. I might have, you know, I just, you, you can change it to be your own. So don't think you just have to use that image and then that's just it as well. Oh, thank you, Soap Chef. Yeah, I do get lots of people that watch my label video. There's one that I've labeled an orange patchouli amber jar. And that one is, I think it's had, uh, I'm, I'm going to say 30,000 views. I really don't remember. But it's had a lot of views and it's a long video where I show you from the very start how you do it and all of the elements and how you can change things in Canva because um, you really want to be able to learn how to change things in Canva because that is going to make you really, really good at labeling and do a really, really professional one as well. Oh, uh, lotions and you are not besties. Now, can I tell you, Joy, when I first started making lotions, one of them separated and I couldn't figure it out. I got really upset and I'm like, I followed everything. I just couldn't get it. 
and can I tell you one thing that I didn't realize is when you add the preservatives it will look like it's separating but it's not it means you have to keep whipping and whipping and whipping really really hard you need to keep doing that really hard oh thank you Lauren for buying on my site I can see it's come up everyone I am sorry I accidentally flicked off the screen so <laughs> anyway I was clicking Lauren's order off the screen but anyway I'm sorry god I'm hopeless I'm not tech savvy see this is the thing everyone everyone thinks I'm amazing and techie but I'm actually not <laughs> I'm actually honestly not I'm really not um tech savvy at all but I've just taught myself everything I know so anyway hopefully you're still there and I didn't make you go away on my um uh you know you on my um live because I look you know I'm hopeless sometimes but yeah so <laughs> yeah I mean you gotta laugh don't you um yeah just re-watch it that's definitely what I suggest 100% everyone re-watch that because it is a really good video and I will try and bring another one out as well yeah that's right joy you probably didn't whip it and one thing that i learned is when you add the preservative you can either use your stick blender and blend it again but generally i don't i use a spatula but you need to whip it you know like if you were whipping cream by hand so you need to keep whipping a lot like a couple minutes after and then it will combine and it won't separate um, but like I said, on Patreon um, next week, I will actually do a live video and you'll be able to see me do that. The only thing that's hard, this live video is going to go for a long time on Patreon. And the reason it is because I need to give the time, um, the cream time to cool down. So, But I might do another batch earlier so I can show you that second half um, as well. So I hope you can. Yes, you have caught me live, my darling. You definitely have life with Kiara. Thank you for joining us. So now, like I said, we've talked about all that, haven't we? There's And like I said, there's two waxes and your wax is going to thicken it. That's what it is to make cream. So you can use emulsified NF or you can use polar wax. They're the two. Just don't use the cheap one. It won't work. Um, if you go on many of the blogs, you'll see people talk about how they can't get it to work. And there is another one that is really good and it's called BTMS50. And that is actually called in a slang word, cream maker. And the reason for that is it actually does help make the cream beautiful. It gives another element to it. But with mine, I actually add settle alcohol to mine as well because that just helps with the slip and it's just a much nicer feel than just the wax on its own. Um, but you have to be careful with settle alcohol because if you put too much, then you just leave a big white sheen on your hand. But that's fine. It just means you've got to rub it in more. Um, and oh, and also I do put glycerin in mine as well, just a little bit because the glycerin will help. Um, you know, it will just help. You know, go on the skin better and smooth into the skin. Beautiful. So, but you know, the first lotions you make are going to be garbage. I mean, they are because you know we've all got to learn. It's the same as the first candles, not the best one, and and so on. So so don't worry about that. Also, when you're making it one thing that I never considered is if you look at this obviously the top of this is small and I thought how am I going to get it in that because I don't have a special pump machine the best thing um that you can actually buy is something that has like a tiny lid and just pour it in as well um and yes yes yeah, settle alcohol does make the difference Tammy you are right it's a very good product so now what you can do is use a funnel so you know like how you get those little plastic funnels so if you put the funnel in the top and then put the cream in the funnel and shake it down that is the easiest way that i have found rather than trying to scoop it and making a big mess um that is definitely the best way i mean there are some fantastic little machines but they are like 200 dollars australian so they're very expensive um and the, all all you're doing with those machines is pouring the um cream in so that you can put it in the bottles but you know i'd like one of them but eventually that will be later on so anyway that's what like i'm doing with those ones and you know look and these ones have the beautiful oh you're welcome uh pam don't worry darling and so now on these ones here as well you know i've used these black pump um containers and this is 155 grams in here so if you buy one that will t that says it's 200 grams or 200 mils you're not going to get 200 mils in the bottle remember that um, because cream will have little bits of air pockets even if you can't see them it will so it's never going to be the same volume as if you put water in these so just um, do remember that as well 
Uh, yeah, sorry, I I only just seen your message, so Jeff, but yeah, definitely the funnels are really good. And then, you know, you can also get lots of different things like the pancake batter one and that will pour it in as well. There's lots of different ones, but I don't use the, the fussiness with that. Like I said, I just use a basic funnel and get them in and make sure you sanitize absolutely everything. Otherwise, you can have growth in them. And these will only last about, you know, six to nine months is usually a life for um, these kind of creams as well. They're not going to last forever because they do have a water base in them and that's generally how you make it with your water base. So like I said, when you're starting, obviously you need all the ingredients we just talked about, then obviously you need the bottle, the pump, um, but there's other ways as well. So you don't have to have this. You could just put it in a tub that doesn't have a pump because it costs more money to buy the pump and the bottle, but I really love these. And originally I did um, actually make these with glass. Now the one thing I thought with glass is it's much heavier to send and it's more dangerous. If people have tiles and they drop it, then it shatters. So just think about that as well. Yeah, I did create the labels myself. I create all my own labels. Um, I don't pay anyone to do that because then that costs more money. Then you've got to charge more money. And because I sell a lot of things wholesale, it's quite um, tricky. And sometimes, you know, I might get somebody that buys 40 or 50 bottles of these wholesale. So you need to be able to pump them out pretty fast if you're doing um, wholesale. So, and if for anyone that's struggling, I will tell you wholesale is definitely a good way to go if you can do it, 100%. Yeah, satirical alcohol, yes. Yeah, that's right. I know, and they, there is a bit of a difference. When I first started, I didn't know that satirical alcohol and cetyl alcohol were different things, but I use cetyl alcohol. That's the one that, um, which is C-E-T-Y-L is the one I use um, and I like, but you just get used to what you like. Um, and also, you know, things like, um, for me, I actually use jojoba oil. Now, jojoba oil, as many of us know, is a wax. It's not really an oil. It's defined as a wax. It's very expensive. It is probably 10 times more expensive than a lot of oils. But you can use a small bit, and the small bit will really change the oil. So in mine, I do use it, and it really does have a beautiful, lovely feel um, into it. So that's one thing that I definitely suggest. But, yeah, I do make all my own labels. Um, I design them on Canva. And then if you can see this, it's like this is a clear label. So this is a clear vinyl, um, and you can also get, like, clear stickers, and then you can stick them straight on. And the thing that I would say is just don't go up too high because, obviously, the bottle gets round at the top and then it can look wrinkled and not very pretty if you do that so we just need to make sure um, that that's all good and please use preservative you will cry if you don't because within a few days it will go moldy if you do not use preservative you must use it yeah shanta i see what you mean oh and your surname's nelson well family <laughs> um no so look if you're scared making lotions i definitely was scared i was i thought oh no i'm gonna mess it up i was worried it would go moldy look there's a few things you can do number one you just must clean your area and have everything clean i make sure no one comes in when i'm making it no pets no children no nothing so if you've got kids and you're making it in your kitchen, I definitely suggest wait till the kids go to school or your husband's gone to work, the animals are out so you can sanitize your bench and get making. Um, that's definitely what I suggest doing if you're doing it from home. Most of us do do things from home. So yeah, yeah, you've got to do a lot of research and I definitely did do a lot of research. But if you're on my Patreon, I am going to do a live course and I'll give you the recipe and everything that I do so that you can see exactly how I do this. Um, and it's not for the lighthearted, I'll be honest with you. It does take a lot of work. But once you do it, like for me, I don't even think about it. It's quite easy now, but at the start, it's very overwhelming because you're scared you're going to mess it up. So I suggest making a small batch for yourself. Um, and I will do a small batch online. You know, I'll just do like 100 grams so people can see. And then once I give you that recipe, you can double, triple times 10 if you really want. Um, so that's what I suggest. Obviously, you need your label at the front, which 
in Australia, you must say what it is. So this will say it's the cream. It will have the name of it, the weight. And then at the back, which I haven't put it on this one yet, it will have all the directions, ingredients, warnings, and everything that you must put on. Um, so please don't sell that without anything on it. You must put the ingredients and everything because somebody could be allergic and then you've got a real problem. So um, I definitely suggest that you... Um, you do all that as well. I will be coming out with a video also how to do scrubs. Now, while we're talking about formulating, scrubs are a thing as well. So with scrubs, there are two types of scrubs. I always thought there was one, but there's not. Um, there is definitely two. Oh, the preservative I use, yeah, it's Optifin Plus is the one I use. It's the easiest one to use, no fuss. Um, you don't need to stress too much about temperatures or anything. So basically... Once I've got my water and oils, they're melted. And like I said, I'm, I'm going to, I pour the the oil into the water. So always put the oil into the water. Some people do it the other way, but it's easier to do it that way. That way you don't make mistakes. Then you are going to, um, the best preservative is Optifin Plus. It's easy to use, definitely, if you're going to use it. Um, and so once I've done that, you're going to get your stick blender and blend it for, say, one minute then you're going to leave it for 20 minutes come back and do it another minute so you need to keep coming back and forward because if you don't it will get chunky and it won't be smooth so over an hour you just every 20 minutes come back and keep mixing it as well oh thank you joy you're so cute yeah so if you want to push the like button everyone that will help me like joy said um I never say that enough. I probably should. I also have a thing called supers, but I don't know how to use them. <laughs> um, YouTube actually sent me a thing saying, um, I don't know. It's I've never used one, um, but supposedly you push it and then you can give whatever person extra money. But anyway, I, I heard that, but I've never used it. So you can look into that for anyone if you want, if you're on YouTube. So um, like I said, so now we've got the two different things and we've talked about the preservative, which is super cool. And now another thing as well, when you're doing um, scrubs, there's two different ones. So one is where you use a soap base. So it would mean that you need to make your soap, which is, you know, just like your whip soap. And then you add your sugar in, which is easy. There is another one that I will bring out a video on as well. And basically you're going to have your, um, you'll have all of your coconut uh, and when we say coconut oil, I don't mean normal coconut oil. You need to have a coconut oil um, that is, you know, your liquid coconut oil. And that will be a really beautiful kind of a slushy, gooey type one, which feels amazing um, as well. Emulsified, yeah, body polish. That's basically what I'll be doing, lovely, as well. Yeah, that's right. And, yeah, and so you do a oh, wholesale supply plus, yeah in the US or Canada if you're over there everybody so um and there's lots of ones so always you know when we're doing a chat I don't mind if you put links to different um companies in different countries because obviously I'm in Australia so I'm talking about Australia as well oh and Soper's Choice is good Tammy as well yeah in the US um because funny enough um, most of my subscribers are actually from America I think it's about 60 70 percent as well are too expensive in Canada for shipping. Yeah, I've heard that, Pam, that quite a few um, things are, are more tricky to get to Canada. And it's the same as Australia. I mean, Australia, our shipping is really, really expensive here. Very, very expensive. Yes, you did make it to the live, my love. Welcome. Welcome to my live. Uh, so now, yeah, so now we've talked about that. So I will bring out, like I said, a scrubs video on how to actually do the one. So if you've seen the scrubs and they kind of look like a gel almost, um, I'm going to do bring one out like that. Mine will be like a slushy kind of gel um, and it has the sugar base in it. And if you've ever made sugar scrubs, you will know that sometimes if you put the sugar in too early when it's warm, it will actually melt the sugar and then you've got nothing. It just turns to gloop. Um, so don't do that. That's There's a bit of a trick in doing that and like I said I will bring out a video um, and I'll actually put the recipe in for that as well when we do the um, you know the video on the scrubs as well uh, but we'll also be on Patreon all of the information and things like that which is a coconut blend and also when you're making these um, like this one doesn't have mica 
but my other ones have mica and when I say mica I mean it's a pinch of mica the tiniest bit if you want to add just a little bit of color and that way it's not going to come off on anyone's skin um, you know like so I do have one that's a bubblegum one which is a really fun bubblegum one that's blue um, but it's not going to do anything um, as well oh Wendy Point yes I have heard um, Jerrica talk about Windy Point for can for Canadians. So, um, yeah, so I'm sure that that one's probably a good one for you guys to buy your supplies from um, overseas. And also remember, when you're making your, um, your or formulating, it's really good... Um, a granulated cane sugar it lasts longer yeah that's right well I use an organic sugar um, and I can tell you it doesn't last as long definitely not so I'm gonna have to swap well though I didn't want to but I just have to uh, really do uh, but you know always make sure you're putting vitamin E in because it will stop the oils going rancid and when we say rancid that means just going yellow or orange or smelling um, so it, the vitamin E natural vitamin E I don't use um, the one that um, there's one that's like a silicon I think based or something I don't use that one use whatever you like um, I had somebody growl at me once um, because I mentioned not using that but I definitely suggest using the natural one if you can it's, it's better uh, it really does help it um, because it's actually the the natural properties in vitamin E that actually help it not go rancid um, with the vitamin E but anyway you only need a few drops of that you really don't need much you use one percent um, so at the end of your recipe, after you've made everything, you generally want one to two percent of um, yeah. So you generally want one to two percent of vitamin E. You'll want one to two percent of preservative, depending on your preservative. Read the suppliers list, but Optifin Plus is usually works on a one to one point five um, percent of your recipe as well. Um, and then of course, you know, if you're going to put fragrance or essential oils, it's usually one to three percent depending what you want to use i think some fragrances you can go up to five percent but i generally wouldn't do that um, and one of my daughters um, buys from a skin company in australia that's very big and the skin company she buys from it's beautiful i mean the smell is gorgeous and it's so nice so nice but it's very strong um, so yeah brown sugar in scrubs too i have heard of that as well um, also raw sugar but raw sugar is kind of a bit gritty so I'm, I'm not sure on that but um, definitely the organic one I buy is m more fine so it's not going to last as long and obviously if someone's buying a scrub they want a scrub to be quite you know good and oh, another thing as well if you're using um, coffee grinds a lot of people like to use coffee in their scrubs as well I definitely suggest that you actually make your coffee so grind down your beans and then put hot water in them let them sit for an hour drain the hot water back out of it um, as well and that can be a part of it but you need your preservative because obviously you got water into your coffee grind but it will soften the coffee um, a little bit but um, you know that's something to think about as well you know that you can definitely do that um, or you can grind the coffee up and you can put it in your water portion while you're boiling that as well and it will just soften the coffee just that tiny bit it won't totally soften it up because it's a bean um, but it will soften it up a little bit um, that's something that you can do in a scrub but all of my scrubs they haven't come out yet honestly I've sold out of everything and I've literally just ran out of so many things so anyone that's waiting to buy things on my site I'm sorry I'm really sorry if it's not on there but um, look honestly I've just sold out of so much and I think I've sold like over a thousand dollars in wholesale this week um, just this weekend alone so it's it's just been crazy which if anyone has watched my last videos thank goodness because um, I have not had a good January um, you know I've had terrible January so thank goodness I need some sales um, yeah, you run it through your coffee grinder. That's what I do, Pam, too. Yeah, my husband had a little coffee grinder, so we definitely um, popped it through that. Thank you, Tammy. Yeah, I was, um, look, honestly, I was getting a bit stressed. <laughs> and this is what I say, everyone. You know, like lots of people see me on YouTube and think I sell 100000 a year. I do not. I don't sell anywhere near those numbers. I definitely don't sell those numbers. Um, but, you know, this is the thing I want to say to everyone. If you're starting and you're getting stressed because you're not selling, um, 
try and just practice on something else like maybe learn um you know to formulate more or maybe learn to do labels in the spare time because you know eventually it does grow like you know you do grow and look I've had some amazing months and then some really low months and the low months pull you down and make you feel very negative but there's many people and I mean if any of you watch Jerrica you will notice she was talking about how Kale her husband had to go back to work <clears throat> for a couple of months and I mean this happens this is just the way it is you know it's just the environment but until you grow to that really big level um you know you might have to do things like that but you know the richest people in the world didn't just get rich overnight it took a long time um for their businesses to grow so anyway I thought I better put that in there because a few people have told me they're quite you know getting quite down and I get it I've been there um you know and it, it really is difficult but you know and yeah you're right Tammy the economy is terrible in Australia it's awful uh really bad people are you know really stressed and not to spend money which I understand yeah soap chef you seen that as well yeah and I did and and I, my heart just went out to them because I know um I know what it's like it's you know really really tricky I you know things can be so hard with these kind of things can't they but anyway, I hope you have enjoyed our chat today. If any of you want to come to my conference, uh, please go over there, which is the Australian Soaping and Candle Conference. You can go online or you can also go in person if you're in Australia at that time, which is March the 20th and 21st. So if you're watching online, you'll be able to see the whole thing online. It is recorded live, so you'll be able to comment and be involved in the chat. I know you are coming, Tammy. I am so glad that you're coming, my love. You work full-time, run your business. Yeah, I totally get it. And that's what I do for my business. Um, well, this is my full-time job, but I do know a lot of people work, and I did work when I was starting, uh, 100%. Um, yes. Oh, you had your little candle shop yesterday, and you had some six ladies there. Look, and that's all that matters. You just want anyone to see what you're doing, friends. Um, you know, no one's going to see it when you're sitting at home on the couch feeling depressed. So if you're feeling low, go for a walk. Just see the world and look at the beautiful trees. You know, pat your dog, have a coffee with the next door neighbor. Anything that makes you feel a little bit better um, as well. Yeah, financially things can be really hard, but you know, sometimes you just got to do it, don't you? You know, um, things can be really, really hard, but uh, you know, please everyone, just be kind to everyone. That's the one thing I say, um, you know, I look doing my job as I do on YouTube as well. Sometimes you have to deal with the good and bad. 99.9% .9 of people that follow me are just beautiful. Well, I should say all of my followers are beautiful, but sometimes you get someone that puts a silly comment or something and I just delete it. You know, you just can't let anything like that get you down. So if someone doesn't like your product, don't let that get you down, everybody. Please don't let that get you down. Um, they're not your audience. Just remember that. They're not your audience. They're not your people. Or if someone says, oh, that's so expensive, I'm not going to buy that. Don't worry about it. They're not your person because they're not going to buy it. If they were your person, they go, oh, I love it. I'll pay. So don't worry about that at all. Oh, thank you, Paige Eats. <laughs> what a cute name, Paige, to have that on there as well. What time is your next live chat, Cindy? Um, I always do it at 11 a.m. on a Sunday, um, Australian time. So remember, in Australia at the moment, in Melbourne, because I'm in Melbourne, Australia has different times. Um, we're in daylight savings. And that means we're an hour, uh, I think we're an hour early. Um, so, but just type that in a converter. So if you type in Melbourne, um, Australia um, times, and then say convert it to American or wherever you are, it will tell you the time so that you'll know the exact times to um, actually come. There's so many converters and they're free, everyone. They're free. on Just Google it um, online and you'll see. But always on a Sunday. Um, but if you're on Patreon, it will be next Saturday that I will be doing my live um, shop, a workshop on making um, a body lotion. It will be a body yogurt lotion, uh, which doesn't mean yogurt, real yogurt. It means the consistency of yogurt. Uh, so if you want to see that, just go on next Saturday. I will put a post on Patreon. I haven't done that yet. Um, and that is a free one. If you're a Patreon member, it's free. 
so um you know just go on to there and i will do that next sunday anyway uh, next saturday sorry anyway have a lovely day and i will see you next sunday on sunday chat bye friends